In today's video, I will show you how to catch an airplane with a Doctor Strange portal and make it fly through in the street. The first thing that I've done is recorded myself and in this case actually my fiance was recording me while we were on a little trip to Paris. We've also visited Disneyland which was a lot of fun. We did the Hollywood hotel though and that was pretty scary. I didn't know what to expect and off I went. Yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, back to Paris, I recorded this shot right here and all I wanted to do with this is track it in Adobe After Effects. But before we start, I want to say a special thank you to Hollyland. They sent over this uh, SolidCom C1 and the SolidCom C1 actually allows you to stay in touch with your team on set. So whether you're recording live events or a short film and you want to communicate with a camera guy or DP, it's really hard to always reach out to a walkie-talkie or to send messages to each other. So right here you have a headset that sits super comfortably on your head. Makes you look a little bit like a pilot and it looks super dope. They are rechargeable with these batteries right here and if you're thinking about losing your buddy right there it can actually reach up to 305 meters according to the specifications. It's really helpful on set so you don't always have to go to the person you want to talk to and yeah uh, like I said you look professional while doing so and people like that so yeah definitely go ahead with the link in the description below if you want to find out more the SolidCom C1 from Hollyland. First I tried to use the 3D camera tracker because this is the easiest way to try it and approach it but to no surprise it didn't end up working that well because there is too much going on. So what I ended up doing is opening Mocha AE and just 2D track uh, a certain spot closer to the camera where I think the portal might come. Once that the frame is losing that frame I'm going to shift over this tracking point so I can continue tracking or adding tracking data to that same point. That's the way Mocha works. Okay, so once I tracked the entire shot, I parented this to a null object, so I have that tracking data. Now I tracked a little point in the far distance, so more to track the plane in the sky, because they're in different parallaxes from each other, and that means that they will move differently. The thing in the background will move slower than the point in the foreground. So that's why I created two tracking points. Then I added in my portal, and for the portal I actually opened up an older project, and I just matched my camera angle and rendered that angle out. We actually sell this portal on our website creatorgalaxy.com and it's a preset from a tutorial that I have created a while back. So if you want to see how to create your own Doctor Strange portal from zero or from scratch then definitely go and check out that video. So I have this portal in black and white and I just add it to my scene. I then parent it to the null that is closer to my camera and place my portal until I'm satisfied. Oh, and before we continue, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, but the Epic VFX Academy is finally opening its doors once again. This October, we will launch the Epic VFX Academy. A handful of students can join the Academy and will learn how to create Epic VFX from A to Z with courses that I'm giving. All right, so if this sounds something for you, then definitely check out the link in the description below, epicvfxacademy.com. So make sure that you're not missing out on this amazing opportunity and sign up for the waitlist. And apart from that, let's continue with the video. For the color of my portal, I want to have an like orange golden look. So I went for the VC color vibrance to add my color to my black and white portal because that gives me like the most vibrant colors that I desire. Then I added a perfect glow, which you can also find on our website to really make everything come nicely together. Then I create another portal that I'm going to parent to the null in the sky. So I'm just doing the same thing. If you would need another angle, just go back to your portal project and render out a different angle by moving your 3D camera around. So now we have our portals in our scene. We also need another background for our portal in the foreground. So what I have done here is created a solid where I messed out the the inside of the portal here. I also parented this to this null so it stays in the same place and then I went to pexels.com to find myself a sky photo or video if you so desire to make it even more complex. I'm going to use this image below the solid that I tracked down and I'm going to also uh, add this as an alpha mat to the solid so that way I'm just seeing what the solid is representing. 
You can either parent this to the null or try not to, because you really want to have some parallax with the sky and the foreground, but that's something that you'll have to play with. So now we need our plane that is actually in our sky. Either you recorded a real plane that is flying in the sky, or in my case, I didn't have anything flying there, so I needed a plane photo. I was lucky because the sky is blue and I just had to use the key light to remove the background from my plane image. So now I'm left with a transparent plane. I'm going to animate that plane pretty slowly and here's the thing that you might want to think about. So when you're looking at something really far and it's going really, really fast, you're going to see it appear pretty slow. But once it would pass through that portal and appear in front of the camera, it should go a lot faster than you would see it in the distance. So that's why you will see in my example, the plane in the um, sky is going pretty slow and once it passes through the portal, it really slams through there. So anyway, I animated this PNG plane to move into the portal that I have in the sky. After that it entered the portal, I'm going to cut it away or just mask it out. And now I need a plane that actually exits the portal in the foreground. And here I've put quite a bit of work in there. I actually used a plane model and I completely remodeled it, retopologized it and also UV textured it completely with a CG creator galaxy tag, which looks super cool. We have our own private jet now. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think of it? Anyway, I cut off the wings because I was imagining once you fly through the portal, the portal is strong enough to kind of like, um, like a lightsaber would do, cut off the wings of the plane. So you would only stay with like the um, cabin of the plane that would fly through. So I exported this in Cinema 4D and I imported this using Element 3D. I already had my UV textures saved out, so I just re-imported them in Element 3D and adjusted my textures a little bit to match my environment. You can also add an environment in Element 3D that more or less represents the location you're at, or you can actually import a 360 HDRI JPEG, I think, in Element 3D of your existing location. Um, but I didn't have my 360 camera with me, so that didn't end up working for this one. So I ended up using another image that kind of represented that shot. Then I used a bunch of elements to make my shot stand out, to have some sparks, some ground bursts, and also I masked a solid with some roughened edges applied to it to make it look like the ground was cracked open. So after playing around with a lot of dust, sparks, ground bursts, and whatnot, I ended up creating something like this. Enjoy. All right, so check this out. So check this out. All right, so that's how I catched an airplane using Doctor Strange magic. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. And until then, I'm going to leave you with another video of mine so you can continue your VFX journey right here. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, create epic videos.